welcome to Wendy and Ria's Art. Hi everybody, it's Wendy here. Um, today I'm just going to have a little play on this Aquarello watercolour paper by Fabriano. Um, it's 300 grams per square metre and 9 inch by 12 inch or 23 centimetres by 30.5 centimetres. So it's the first time I've used this paper, so I'm just going to tuck it under here. And I want that to lay flat. Now, I've got some Iro Shizuku inks here. Um, you might have seen me making sinking islands and I got a bit overzealous and poured a stack of the blues onto my canvas without realising it wasn't waterproof. So, pre-worn today and I'm just going to use some watercolour paper. I'm just going to have a play today. I'm having a break from planning my new commission, which is the large mixed media um, work that I'll be doing with a very Australian theme. Um, but just taking 20 minutes out here just to have a play with these inks. So I've got some of their new colours, which is Hani Yukata or Hani Yukata, Fuyugaki. Um, beautiful colours. And of course I have some blues. So it's Suki Yo and Kujaku. Not quite sure. This one looks a bit more turquoisey. This one looks a bit more... Uh, Maybe ultra ultramarinish. I have that beautiful purple one, Yamabudo. This one's a bit, got a bit of an orange tint to it, um, Fuyugaki. And I'm thinking this one is black, Taki, Taki Sumi. All right, so I thought I'd start with the black. And I have this beautiful glass nib here. really gorgeous. So I'm going to start with this. You can see how the ink goes up into the little spirals on the glass so it holds a bit of ink there. So I'm just, as I said, just going to have a play. So I'm just going to do some mark making to start with. Look how fine that is, it's gorgeous. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's my dog. She's only little, but she makes a lot of noise. And she's playing with a toy that she's just found, so. I've just got a few of the, I don't know if you've seen my video with the, the twig that I found or the branch. And it just had all these amazing little textures on it. So I've just got those a bit in my head. So I'm just gonna do a few of those little marks. I love finding things in nature and finding things on them that I can then go and use on an abstract piece. This is lovely and fine. And it just had all these little textures on it. I found about four different kinds of texture on one little branch, on one little piece of timber or branch. Oh, it's pretty awesome. colours mixed together quite nicely. Um, you can make some beautiful leaf shapes and some just abstract flower type shapes. Could probably paint with a finer brush a nice um, 
bottle brush and probably a Banksia too. So, okay, to be continued. <laughs> okay, so I'm still playing and I've got a whole heap of um, Posca pens out and the Pitt, Faber-Castell Pitt artist pens out because I just want to keep <laughs> fiddling. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. good um, all right so I'm getting some more ideas for my inks <laughs> and after fiddling around I really love this bit here with the grevillea the bottle brush the banksia and the little flowers um, so yeah okay thanks for bearing with me um, please subscribe to Wendy and Ria's art and like this if you enjoyed me having a bit of a play and experiment thank you bye Thank mm -hmm. you.